This music, well, I, I was supposed to be uh, out of my mind, and I was to, supposed to be a, a Martian, and anything but a man of tango. And my new tango started little by little. I, I played very much. I had, uh, I always say there's somebody in the back of me who just pushes me in life, and he tells me what to do. I'm sure about that. Tango is purely Mediterranean. It comes from Italy, from Naples, from Genova, and some from the flamenco, the Spanish flamenco, and some from Cuba. But you could never say that it, it comes from Africa. The difference between Brazil, I would say, uh, Brazil and Argentina is completely different. I mean, Brazilian people are extroverted and we are introverted. That's why the tango is always very sad. It's very, it doesn't have the richness as Brazilian music has the, of, the, of the percussion and the drums and all that, that's because it comes from Africa. And we inherited the culture of uh, Italy and uh, Spain and I would say uh, more uh, on oriental, it's very introverted. That's why the tango is also always very sad, it's never happy music.
at the moment, 1955, in Argentina, the tango starts dying. Uh, the cause of it is that the, the music of Elvis Presley, Bill Haley, rock and roll starts coming into Argentina. And the young generation, 16, 17, 18 years old, they start getting more excited with rock and roll than with tango. They, they don't, they are not interested in tango. So yet they listen to rock and roll. Then the Beatles come in in the 60s, and that's the end of the tango. But my music goes on, and the young people understood my music because it wasn't boring. I mean, the old traditional tango was very boring. It's, it's repeated. It, there, there's no changes. There's have, there have been no changes in that music for at least 40 or 50 years until I come in. And when I come in, I'm taking away the tango, the people. It's a sentimental problem. It was like a war of one against all. They were all against me in that moment in 1954. And it was really terrible. I mean, they threatened my family. They threatened me, my, my son and my daughter. They, was, they used to, they gave me a beating once in the street because I was changing the music. I mean, it was, it was fun. I mean, you should study music in this life, but you know, you have to know how to defend yourself. You must know a little about uh, Today you learn a little karate and all that. Yeah. It's very important too. And uh, if you uh, decided to change music, you better know something about boxing or, or uh, martial uh, uh, sports. But uh, just the same, at, uh, uh, the people who menaced me in those moments Today, maybe they are my friends. Maybe they love me. Maybe, I said. I'm not sure of it.
Momoki is uh, some people think it's a Japanese uh, motorcycle. It's not. Momoki is how I call my wife and my dog. Two this two uh, feminines in my life. My wife and my dog Flora. Thank you. 
This was invented in 1854 in Germany to play uh, religious music, church music. They didn't have any money to buy an organ or a harmonium, and they invented this. It used to be called bandonium, and I understand that very many sailors uh, play this instrument when they are, are on, on board. And uh, that's the reason how, uh, how it got to Argentina. And, and, it, and they start playing this instrument in the, in the whorehouses. But the Italian accordion players uh, quickly uh, adapted this instrument to play tango because it had a very uh, sad sound. It had like a velvet sound. The accordion has like a happy sound. And this instrument has a really nothing happy in it. How, how does it play? What, what do you do with the different hands? Well, uh, it has a, a left hand with the with the low notes. And the right hand, like a violin. Like a string quartet. It doesn't play chords. Yes. It, no, not not in the single like the accordion. No, you, if you want a chord, you have to use your, all your fingers. We only have uh, four fingers in each side, another finger to hold uh, the instrument. And in the chords, you make them each one. You can get eight notes on uh, a chord of eight notes on it. I mean, it's uh, rather difficult in the right hand. I mean, you if you do a scale. You use this technique, and when you close the C, instead of being here, it's up here. It changes, and in the, in the left hand, it has two techniques completely different from the right hand. You do the C starts here, and when you close, it starts here. So it's uh, it's very diabolic. I mean, the people who the, the person who who's interested in learn, learning this instrument must be a little out of his mind. Zero Hour was composed uh, when I used to work in the nightclubs and the cabarets in Buenos Aires. Every time we, we had a break, when we used to play till 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and at 12 o'clock midnight we used to leave and walk around the city that's always desolated. And there uh, was uh, nobody in the streets. The only thing you can hear is a siren of an ambulance or the police and it was always with very much silence and no, only the footsteps of somebody who could be walking in the streets at that hour.
people who come in London or in Berlin or New York City or in Montreal, it's just a question of music, doing a new music. We don't have synthesizers in our uh, group. I don't use only electric guitar. Everything is uh, the bass is a normal bass piano, and it's romantic. It could be very uh, melancholic. It could be dramatic. It could be religious music. It has a little of everything. There's a very there's a a rare change in nearly all the the compositions I play, and. That's what makes the people uh, interested in, in my music. And they can find contemporary sounds inside of my music, and that's what they like. Nonino means uh, grandfather in Italian, and my children used to call my father Nonino. So when he died, I said, I wrote this composition called Adios Nonino. That's why it's like a, like a requiem. Thank you. 
tango is a vertical rape. When they dance it, the tango, the, the couple gets so together that it looks like a rape. That's what, that's what happen, usually happens when they dance, when they used to dance tangos in the 40s in Argentina. I, I'm, I, I'm a witness. I used to play with, with the typical tango bands, and I used to see, really, the, the young uh, uh, boys and girls, 17, 18 years, dancing tango and making love. My music has all the primitive tango from the bordellos until today. You can hear it underneath. On top of that music, you can hear good music. I try to do good music. But underneath that, I think it's in my blood that I'm, I'm a, a man of tango. And you can find the roots of my music has, in every moment, in every second, you have uh, a little bit or much of uh, tango primitive in today. This is, the, I think, the first composition I, I wrote with the intention of uh, making it very passionate. And it, 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 you can find a very passionate rhythm in it, and it's very contemporary also. I wrote that only three months ago. It's a, the, the newest composition.